Howdy y'all, this is Trent Knox, and in this video, I want to teach you how to connect OBS to your favorite video call app, whether that's Zoom, Discord, um, Riverside, StreamYard, Restream, whatever the case may be, I want to help you connect your OBS to your video call app. Okay, without further ado, let's get into it. So over here, as you see, this is OBS. Uh, I'm, I'm currently using this method to record this video. I'm recording this video into Riverside. As you can see in the top corner over here, it says powered by Riverside. And uh, you can check out Riverside by going to trentnox.com slash Riverside or riverside.trentnox.com to check out Riverside today. And then I do have a... Uh, a promo code if you send me a DM on uh, on Instagram or Twitter or whatever platform you want to send me a message on. Join the Discord server, discord.trentnox.com to, uh, to reach out to me. But as you can see, okay, over here on the right side, we have the virtual camera active and running. And, and, and that is the main uh, feature that you're going to want to use to connect OBS to your um, to your video call app. So then if we go back here, and uh, sorry, if we go here, as you can see, we're in Riverside. Okay, and in Riverside, I know this looks kind of meta with all the things going on, but you'll be able to see that when you go to the camera settings here and you see this first setting right here is OBS virtual camera so from the select from the drop down menu you can select the camera and it's going to be the OBS virtual camera and that will ena enable you to do the scene switching like we have here where I can go back to host and uh, and talk to you directly um, about this setup from OBS into the your video call app whatever it is you go from there to obs virtual camera and then you're able to do the scene switching and screen sharing outside of the application on the local end and it enables you to do these transitions that you wouldn't normally be able to do if you were doing them in the cloud broadcaster because if you let's say have an Elgato stream deck like I do, I can manage the OBS via the plugins of the Elgato stream deck. And so then I'm able to go to host three where you can see the settings and how I've set it up and then back directly to the host camera um, as if there was little to no effort in the transition. And an additional thing that you could do right now I'm just fading transitions but you could also ask uh, add stinger transitions where there's motion graphics and other elements to the recordings that you do in the cloud systems or on the video calls such as webinars and stuff like that on zoom and what else you could do is uh, you could add alerts to your broadcast where you wouldn't normally be able to add alerts. And so you'd be able to see by adding a browser source in OBS, the alerts come in in during the, the recordings or during the stream. Okay, and then one more thing before I let you go is that let's say that you have a remote guest that you're, uh, you want to have on the show. Well, you're in while you're still in a transitioning screen sharing scene, when you're full screen, you can return back to the full screen camera uh, so that your guest can, um, can see you and you can see your guest. But then this also adds the, uh, the additional uh, element of having that cloud recorder, such as, you know, Restream, StreamYard, or, uh, or Riverside, and being able to do in-application 
uh, screen sharing so that both you and your guests can hear the audio of, let's say, a YouTube video or something of that nature. Uh, and, and so basically, you know, you have your shared links and whatnot from inviting people. This is just the interface that Riverside has, but most, um, popular cloud recording systems or video call systems have a version of this where you just share a link with your, your guests and then they're able to join your studio. And so this is a really, really, really valuable way to add an additional level of uh, sophistication and um, quality to your podcasts and recordings. It's very simple. You know, you download the OBS application, which are, if you're watching this video, you most likely already have that uh, downloaded. But maybe you haven't thought of how you're going to use a virtual camera to elevate your Zoom calls, your remote podcast appearances, your live streams, however you want to use this. It's a great resource and a great tool. It's OBS Virtual Camera. It's a plugin that you can download from the OBS uh, store if you, you don't have the most up-to-date version of OBS. It does, it does come pre-packaged with OBS nowadays. So you just download OBS, install OBS, turn on Virtual Camera depending on the application or interface skin that you're using. You could be using Streamlabs OBS or or um, se.live, streamelements.live, or XSplit, or some other application. You're going to have to work through the, the weeds and navigate uh, the oceans to find exactly where the virtual camera settings are in your specific application. But OBS Virtual Camera connected to the video call cloud studio recorder, podcast, live stream, webinar, whatever application that is, OBS virtual virtual camera connected to that. And then you have your scene transitioning and how you can improve and elevate the quality of your recordings or video calls or webinars or live streams, whatever have you. Anyway, that's it. My name is Trent Knox. As always, good luck, have fun, respectfully, Trent Knox.